Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make a lot of money in Terraria. With the introduction of version 1.1, we now have statues that spawn creatures when activated using wires. The fish statue is especially useful for making money. I have created a mechanism that creates a little over 400 goldfish per minute. Since each goldfish sells for 2 silver, that's 8 gold per minute. Now, to explain how the machine works. The basic mechanism is 3 fish statues connected to a crab timer. A crab timer is a 2x2 two two chamber with a pressure plate inside. When a crab is trapped inside, it will bounce around and press the pressure plate to generate a signal that repeats faster than a 1 second timer. There are 3 statues because the game has a limit of 3 goldfish that can be spawned by statues in one area at one time. When the goldfish spawn, they immediately hit the lava and are collected by the player. It might help to make the lava shallow enough so that it doesn't destroy items, but this is not necessary as long as you are actively collecting the goldfish. Anyhow, the amount of items that can be laying around in the world at the same time is limited, so there isn't much of a reason to leave the machine running unattended. The machine is controlled by two levers. The right lever spawns a crab and toggles the active stone blocks on the top of the crab timer. The crab will fall through the wooden platform and into the chamber, at which point you need to use the lever again to trap the crab inside and activate the fish statues. The wooden platform is necessary because the crab statue will be destroyed if it stands directly on top of the active stone blocks. The left lever toggles the active stone blocks on the right side of the crab timer, releasing the crab into the lava and deactivating the machine. The other thing you see is that I have a king statue and two switches. The bottom switch summons a male NPC, allowing you to sell your goldfish without leaving the machine. The top switch toggles the active stone blocks between the NPC chambers, and the off chance you summon the guide and want to move him out of the way. A queen statue can also be used, but the king statue is better because you have less a chance to summon the guide than the nurse, since there are more male NPCs. Even though it looks like the NPCs will get stuck in the machine, don't worry. They should return to their rooms by nightfall if you leave the area. Finally, I included some chests to deposit my items in while I collect goldfish. The machine will take about 10 minutes to fill up your entire inventory, yielding just under 4,000 goldfish, which are worth almost 80 gold coins. Now, let's run the machine and see it in action. It's pretty convenient to leave the room and let this thing run for 10 minutes. Then you just come back and sell 80 gold coins worth of goldfish. If you are wondering where to find these statues, I suggest going underground and looking for abandoned mine shafts and areas with glowing mushrooms. You can usually find statues in those places. To place wires, you will also need the wrench, which is bought from the mechanic who can be rescued from the dungeon. One final point of interest is that during a blood moon, the fish statues will create corrupt goldfish instead of regular goldfish. This will more than double your earnings, because the corrupt goldfish drop 5 silver coins each. Since the corrupt goldfish only drop coins, you can just let the machine run for the entire blood moon on its own and make a ton of money. There is also no spawn limit to the corrupt goldfish, so you are not limited to just 3 statues. If you are interested in seeing the machine run during blood moon, I have provided a link to another video. Thanks for watching!